life human first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 someone can read it loudly in everything mm. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. For this is the will of Christ, will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Amen. Give th in everything, give thanks. This is the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible is asking us to give thanks for everything. Hallelujah. Amen. It's very difficult to give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you experience? It's very difficult, right? Sometimes we'll give thanks. But not all the times. Hallelujah. But Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Today the message is about giving thanks and praises to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is good. Bible says that is the will of God. Hallelujah. Many, many times you are trying to find the will of God in many decisions, right? Lord, help me to find whether I can buy this house or that house. I want to know your will. Tell me about your will, whether I can choose this job or that job, right? Nothing wrong to ask about the will of God in the important decisions. It's good to know the will of God. Always doing the will of God will be a blessing for our life. Amen? When you do the will of God also, there will be a challenges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean when you do the will of God, it doesn't mean you will not have any challenges. Hallelujah. Amen? Do you know that Jesus did the will of Father God? Amen? Jesus knew the will of Father and he did the will of Father. Amen? Hallelujah. But his path was not easy. Jesus went through very, very hard path. Amen? Hallelujah. Jesus did not commit any sin, but still he went through difficulties. Only reason he committed himself to do the will of Father. Amen? Hallelujah. Bible talks about many, many men of God and uh, women of God who all did the will of God they all went through challenges. Amen? Hallelujah. But the one good news is when you do the will of God the hand of the Lord will be with you. Amen? Amen? Challenges will be there but the hand of the Lord will be with you you can feel the presence of God. You can see the help of God when you do the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Many times we, we are very scared to commit ourselves to do the will of God. Amen. Amen. Why we are very scared to pray, Lord, let your will alone be done? Because we are thinking, the Lord will ask me to do the things which I do not like. like. Hallelujah. So we don't want to pray like that. We want to pray that the according to the things which we like. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone is here not married? Everyone is married. Except Jodi. Okay, anyway. But when you commit yourself for the marriage, many times, you know, before the marriage, we used to pray like this, Lord, somehow I want to marry this person. I don't know whether it's will of God or not. But I want to marry this person. Right? Then immediately one question will come. You need to pray for the... Some, some thought will come. You need to pray for the will of God. But we stand to pray for the will of God. Because the, the fear is, if I pray for the will of God, then if the Lord says no, then how it will be? Yes or no? Right? Hallelujah. But we need to do the will of God. God has called us to do the will of God. Amen. When you pray to do the will of God, there will be difficulties. 
but the end result will be glorious amen in the garden of gethsemane jesus prayed like this how he prayed if it is your will let this cup go away from me but not my will let your will alone be done hallelujah amen hallelujah jesus had to go through the path of calvary jesus had to carry the cross hallelujah but within 3 days everything changed amen the glorious things happened in the life of jesus hallelujah here the bible says in everything give thanks this is the will of god amen hallelujah tell your neighbor give thanks for everything give thanks for everything amen this is the will of god hallelujah now ask them are you giving thanks for everything amen hallelujah okay i want to show you couple of incidents happen in the bible how the people they operated their life i before that i want to read one more verse psalm 100 verse 4 psalm 100 verse 4 hmm. enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise praise hmm. be thankful to him and bless his name be thankful to him and bless his name name how we need to enter in, in his courts with thanksgiving with praises hallelujah joyfully we need to enter into this courts hallelujah amen are we able to enter in his courts with thanksgiving and praises hallelujah sometimes it's very difficult hallelujah amen bible says whenever we enter into his presence whenever we enter into his courts this place is his courts amen this place is his dwelling place we are entering into his house amen when we enter into his house we need to enter with praises and thanksgiving lord thank you for helping me to come to your house today lord thank you for helping me to enter into your presence this evening i am very thankful i am very glad i am in your presence amen david said when they told me that we can go to the temple of god i am i was very glad hallelujah somebody came and told david let's go to the temple of god today amen immediately he rejoiced immediately he he had a gladness hallelujah amen sometimes someone asks today we need to go oh my god again sunday i need to go to the church again amen saturday evening sunday evening sunday morning sunday evening hallelujah amen but it's a privilege to enter into the presence of god it's a privilege whenever you walk into his courts because you are going to see the king of kings hallelujah you are going to receive his word one more time you are going to receive his presence one more time hallelujah be thankful right what the bible verse says be thankful hallelujah give thanks in everything give thanks and also be thankful not only going into his presence but in our life we need to be thankful to god all the time our life needs to be become a like a uh be thankful to god all the time it should be a part of our life yeah. amen giving thanks to the lord it should be a part of our life not only we are, when we are going to the temple of god but every day day to day life our life needs to be a thanksgiving life hallelujah we need to give thanks to the lord for everything amen exodus chapter <coughs> exodus chapter 15 verses 1 to 3 and moses and the children i'm going to show you some incidents from the bible that we are going to search our heart how is our life we are going to compare with all these scenarios and where we can fix ourselves or where can we put ourselves and search our heart amen hallelujah exodus chapter 15 verses 1 to 3 hmm. then moses and the children of israel that moses and the children of israel sang the song to the lord and spoke saying i hmm. sing to the lord they all sang a song hmm. i sing to the lord 
I will sing to the Lord. For He has triumphed gloriously. Uh. The horse and his For He has triumphed gloriously. Mm. The horse and his rider. Mm. Has Mm, yeah, man. They all started to sing to the Lord after they crossed the Red Sea. We can read the verse 2. The Lord is my strength and song. The Lord is my strength and my song. And He has become my salvation. And He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise Him. He is my God and I will praise, praise him. him. My Father is God and I will exhort Him. Yeah, Amen. I will praise my God, he is my father's God, and I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Moses and the entire people of Israel, they started to sing. They said, We will praise God. Hallelujah. Why they sang? Why they gave thanks to the Lord? Why? Huh? They saw a miracle. What kind of miracle they saw? What kind of miracle they saw? The Red Sea was open, which never happened in the history of the world. That was the first time the water split into two. Hallelujah. They saw the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. I want to show you some, uh, uh, some other verses. Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14, verse 10. Before they crossed the Red Sea, what was their situation? Mm. And when Pharaoh drew near, uh, children of Israel, Pharaoh drew near, children of Israel, lifted their eyes, mm. and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. Mm. So they were very afraid. So they were very afraid. afraid. Mm. And the children of Israel cried out to God. Children of Israel cried out to God. Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, mm. have you taken us away to die? Okay, listen. Before they crossed the Red Sea, they were in the wilderness. They saw the Pharaoh. They became afraid. They became panic. They started to cry out to Moses and cry out to God. Right? But after they crossed the Red Sea, the panic became praises. Amen. Hallelujah. Whenever you are going through the time of panic, whenever you are going through a time of fear, whenever you are going through a time of tension, remember the Lord is able to change it into praises. Amen. Only God alone can do it. How God changed the panic into praises? By performing a miracle. What kind of a miracle? He split the Red Sea, which they never thought. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you believe that God will do a new things in your life? Amen. Wherever you are facing Red Sea today, the Lord will split the Red Sea for you. And the Lord will change your panic into praises. Hallelujah. Amen. So they started to give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we can come back to Exodus chapter 15, verses uh, 11, 11, 12, 13. Jaiman, would you please give the volume for this mic, my red color. Hmm. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious? See how they are praising God. Hallelujah, Yaman. Whenever God does some miracle, the Lord will expect us to give praises. Hallelujah. We used to do it, right? Yaman, when you are waiting for something to happen, and when you receive it, you will start to give Praises. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are not giving praises for that also, he is faithful. Hmm? It's not good, right? Amen. Whenever you receive something from the Lord, have a thankful heart. Amen. Ten lepers came to Jesus for healing. Jesus told them, go and show yourself to the priest. All the ten written on the way, they were healed. How many of them came back? One. Just one. Jesus asked them, what about the yes. others? Hallelujah. That means Jesus will expect us to give thanks. Jesus will help, expect us to have a thankful heart. 
Amen. Whenever we receive something from the Lord, come back to His presence. Come back to Jesus. Give thanks to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So here they are giving praises to God. They are praising God. Hallelujah. They said, who is like you, Lord? Amen. Uh, next verse. You stretched out your right hand. You stretched, your, you stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. The earth swallowed them. They saw the hand of God during the time of panicness. They saw the hand of God during the time of fear. So they are all giving praises to the Lord. Mm. You in your mercy have led forth the people from whom you have redeemed. Mm. You have guided them in your strength to mm. your holy habitation. Mm. Amen. They all sang together. They all gave praises to God. Hallelujah. But he did not prolong for a long time. Amen. Hallelujah. If you read the same chapter, verse 2, uh, 22. Sorry, not 2, 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. How many days? Three days. They couldn't see any water. Mm -hmm. Verse now, 23. Now when they came to Mara, mm -hmm. they could not drink the waters of Mara, mm -hmm. for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. Amen. Hallelujah. They couldn't see the water for the three days. Then the fourth day they saw the uh, water, but it's not able to drink because it was bitter. It was Mara. Uh, verse 24. And the people complained against Moses saying, What shall we drink? Amen. Immediately they started to complain against Moses. Hallelujah. Where, where are the praises now? Within three days, praises come. Within three days, thankful heart come. Amen. Hallelujah. Within three days, they forgot the power of God. Within three days, they forgot the miracle of God. Hallelujah. They all testimony for the Red Sea miracle. They all saw the hand of God. That's why they sang together. Your right hand, O Lord, swallowed the enemies. Amen? Hallelujah. If the Lord is able to split the Red Sea, is it not possible to change the bitter water into sweet? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. But within three days, these people started to complain. Hallelujah. Many times, our thanksgiving also like this. Whenever we receive a miracle, we will start to give thanks. Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because of you only, Lord. Amen. But question is, how long the praises are continuing in your life? Three days, or seven days, or three years. Very easily we are forgetting the power of God in our life. How many times He opened the Red Sea for you? Amen. They started to complain against who? Moses. Moses. Amen. First they did not complain against God. They complained against Moses, what shall we drink? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay, we can read that. Now, if you read, how many of you know this miracle? Actually, God showed a wood piece to throw in the water. Then God turned the water into sweet. Amen. Hallelujah. But I am not going to insist that one. But how is our life? Very soon, our heart is changing. Not in the good way. Very soon, our heart is forgetting the goodnesses of God in our life. Hallelujah. We remember the power of God only for a short time. Maybe it's a three days or maybe it's a three years or ten years. But the Lord is expecting us to remember His goodnesses all the time in, my, in our life. Do not forget the power of God in your life. How many times God saved you? 
how many times god protected you how many times god did the miracle in your life how many times god heard your prayers hallelujah do not complain amen in everything give thanks to the lord hallelujah how many of you believe that the lord will never make mistake in your life he is in control that's why i told you he is in control give thanks to the lord amen hallelujah okay so lord performed a miracle lord changed the water into wine it happened in the wilderness of wilderness of su now come back to uh, come to chapter 17 exodus chapter 17 verse 1 hmm when all the congregation of the children of israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the lord now they are coming to the sin wilderness hmm and camp in refidim according to the commandment of lord lord hallelujah that means they are according the guidance of god hallelujah in total we can in short we can say that they are led by the hand of god they all in the will of god hallelujah that's why i told you whenever you are doing the will of god you will go through scarcity sometime you cannot see the water sometime you can see only bitter water but if you are doing the will of god the you can see the power of god during the time of challenges you can see the power of god amen okay here again they are go they are in the wilderness hmm. and camped in refidim but there was no water for the people again no water already they experienced same kind of problem right three days no water here also in this wilderness also no water hallelujah the previous uh incident after the three days they saw the water it was bitter then again they saw the power of god the water turned into sweet now again the problem is that see life is <coughs> problems life is full of problems it will come go again come go hallelujah whenever the waves comes remember you will see the power of god one more time hallelujah yes sir no. yes yes amen hallelujah but the first thing what we will do ha huh. praise god no we won't pray <laughs> why the why the waves are coming again and again why is coming why is coming only for me not only for you everybody has their own waves many people they are not telling hallelujah okay how many of you used to go to beach no okay at least few people okay when you go to the beach when you are standing in the water the waves are not only touching you <coughs> hundreds of people everybody facing the waves amen yes or no yes if you see the people everybody handles the waves in a different way yes some people will they don't care they will keep walking walking i never like the waves to touch my shoes right to touch my uh, feet some people they will run yes or no yes some people they will just glide right they will glide over it what is that called surfing surfing they will surfing over the Yes, they will enjoy. Hallelujah. The question is, how you are handling your waves? That makes many. That makes much different. Different in your life. Hallelujah. The waves are not only coming against you. Many people standing on the same shore, they are also facing the waves. Amen. Don't think that you are the only one facing the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you need to think how you are handling the problem. Are you able to give thanks to the Lord when you are facing problem? Yes. Amen. 
Do you remember whenever the problem comes against you, remember one more time you are going to see the power of God. Amen. One more time you are going to see the miracle of God. Hallelujah. One more time you are going to see the provision of God. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says in everything, thanks. give thanks. This is the will of God. Will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, give thanks. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know how to say, how to communicate the message? How? How I got it. <laughs> See them, right? Yeah. And tell them, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. Yes. 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 Very good. Praise the Lord. Much better. Much better now. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. amen. These people, how they handle this problem? Mm. Therefore, the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Mm. Why do you tempt the Lord? Again, these people started to complain against Moses. Give us the water to drink. Uh, next verse. Mm. And the people thirsted there for water and the people complained against Moses and said why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children for yeah, livestock with thirst. Hallelujah. They, they forgot for what purpose God has brought them out of Egypt. They were asking Moses. They were complaining against Moses and they said you brought us here to kill us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Complaining against Moses represents complaining against the guidance of God. <laughs> Many times we are, com we are complaining against the guidance of God. Yes or no? Amen. When you receive the job, you will give thousand praises. Within one year, started to complain about the same job. Yes or no? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Why oh, Lord? Why oh, you gave me this job? Before you get the job, thousand times your, your resume is uh, ignored. Nobody called you for the entry, right? Amen. After hundreds of entry, you got this job by God's grace. But within a year, you started to complain about the same job. Yes or no? Amen? Lord, I want to go to U.S. Some give me the visa. After five years, complain about the same thing. Why you brought me here? I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. That means you are complaining against the guidance of God. Hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. Yes or no? That's why the Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Wherever God leads you, give thanks. Hallelujah. These people complain against Moses. Hallelujah. Why you brought us out of Egypt? Hallelujah. Are you giving thanks to the Lord for everything? Today God is looking for a thankful heart. Do not complain. Do not murmur. Whatever you are going through right now, God knows. Amen? Because He is the one leading your life. Because you surrender your life to the hand of, into the hand of God. So start to give thanks. Sometimes it's not easy. Walking in the wilderness is not easy. Hallelujah? Facing dryness is not easy. But God knows what kind of suffering you are going through. God knows what kind of pain you are going through, but give thanks, Lord, I want to give you thanks for this path. I want to give you thanks for this job. I want to give you thanks for this house. I want to give you thanks for this nation. Hallelujah. I will not complain. Amen. God is looking for a thankful heart in everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Why we should not complain? These people started to complain about Moses. But later on, it's turned towards God. 
Hallelujah. Many times we are start, we are we are complaining about people, right? Yes, or no? We will complain about our friends. We will complain about our church. We will complain about the pastor. We will complain about many, 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 many things. Finally, it will take you towards God. If you are a person complaining about everything, finally you will start to complain about God. That means you are you are uh, not giving glory to God. You are putting down God. The Lord will never like that one. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord will disappoint with us when we when we are not recognizing. The glory of God, the power of God. Hallelujah. I want to show you how these people change. Remember Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. Verse 2, 3, 4. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron. And the whole congregation mm -hmm. said to them, If only we had died in the land of Egypt. If you only died in the land of Egypt. Or if only we had died in this wilderness. Or only if we died in the how many of you talking about death? How many of you talking that many times, you know, we out of tension, we used to talk like this. Better I can die. Yes or no? Hmm? But you will not die. Yes? 70 years, 80 years, you will live. You know that also. But you, you always, the, the words comes out of your mouth, it's not uh, about life, it's death. But God doesn't like it. Amen? Because the Bible says, hmm, death and life is the power of? Power of whose tongue? Your tongue. Amen? Do not talk about death. Do not talk about negative things. Talk about life. Talk about the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hello. Amen. Because of long week and everyone tired. <laughs> Give praises. Hallelujah. Amen. How did these people say? Uh, Why does the they, they, they never thought that there is a purpose. The Lord has saved me from the Egypt. There is a purpose. The Lord is leading me in this path. Not to die, but to live in the promised land. There is a promised land waiting for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They forgot. They started to complain. Mm. Why has the Lord brought us to see, this land? See, first they complained against Moses. Now they are asking why the Lord has brought us to this land to fall by the sword. That's why I told you do not complain about anything. Finally, you will start to complain about God. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you agree with me? Hallelujah. Be careful when you talk. Then you will question about the direction of God. You will question about guidance of God. Hallelujah. Why you brought me? Hmm. That our wives and our children should become victims. Mm. Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? Mm. See, they want to go back to Egypt. Egypt, why? Complaining. Not giving praises. Hallelujah. When you are not giving praises, it will take you to the slavery again. When you are complaining again and again, it will take you to the slavery again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to give you one minute time. Close your eyes. Just remember how many miracles God has done in your life. Hallelujah. Are you complaining about the ways of God? Are you complaining about the direction of God or guidance of God? Give thanks to the Lord. Try to think about many miracles which God has done in your life already. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As you are closing your eyes, just lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I will give thanks to you. 
I will never ask you why you brought me here. I will never ask you why you are doing like this. I will give praises to you because my life is in you, Lord. My times are in you. My hope is in you. You know better than me. You know better than me. Hallelujah. I will not complain about you. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. So, verse 11. Mm. Numbers 14, 11. It, it, it made the Lord very upset because these people complain against God. Mm. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? Mm. How long will they not believe See, me? See, how God took it? Rejection. They are rejecting me. Amen. But what we will say, I am a believer. What we will say, I am a minister of God. What we will say, I am a child of God. Do you know how I will pray? When I pray, the place will shake up. Right? But still, you can reject God. Hallelujah. How you can reject God? By complaining against God. When you complain, that means you are rejecting God. Hallelujah. You can call yourself as believer, but still you are rejecting God. It will make the Lord upset. Hallelujah. That's why today the Bible says, in everything, give thanks. This is the will of God. Amen. Okay. We are going to see the second scenario, Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1. Quickly, Job chapter 1, verse 19, 20, 21, 22. Mm. And suddenly a great wind came. Suddenly great wind. Came across the wilderness mm. and struck the four corners of the house mm. and it fell on the young people mm. and they are dead. And All I, the Job's children were dead. Suddenly something happened. Mm. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Mm. Then Job arose, tore his robe. How Job handled this situation? Job lost all the uh, children, Job lost all the wealth. Suddenly everything uh, changed. He lost everything. Mm. But what Job did? Mm. Then Job arose, mm. tore his robe and shaved his head mm. and he fell to the ground and worshipped. Mm. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb mm. and naked shall I return there. Mm. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. See, the other incident, we saw that people of God in the wilderness, they saw the power of God. They will sing, then the within three days change. Then they will see the miracle, then few days it will go well, then again they will complain. Right? The graph went like this. Many of our life graph is like that. One day it's good, Pastor, but for three days, then somebody needs to come and say something or what thought for the day something it will lift up little bit then something will happen in the house hallelujah but here the job condition was completely going down like this but he did not go with the flow he knew I will not operate my life based upon my situation. Hallelujah. Many times we try to operate our life based upon the situation. That's why the graph is going like this. You know the share market? How it goes? Based upon the market. If the market does well, it will go well. If the market is not doing well, right? Yes or no? Many times our life is like a share market. If everything goes well, my map will go like this. My graph will go like this. If something is not happening good, oh, that calls going with flow. But God has called you, go against the flow. Amen? The market can go down, but still God will expect it to be there. Amen? Job, family, suddenly hit a big difficulty, it 
it went down like this. But Job did not go with the flow. Job said, I am not sick. It's very, very difficult. It's not easy. Yes or no? Losing everything and giving praises is not easy. Many times I think about Job and this passage. How it, is, how it was possible? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 34, 1 and 2. We can read it quickly. We are going to finish. Hmm. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah, my soul shall make it. David said, His praises shall, shall be in my mouth. Continu continually. continually. No break. Always I will praise Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it possible? Yes. It's difficult, but still it's possible. Amen. That's why it's written in the Bible. Amen. It's difficult, but still it's possible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How David was able to give praises. How Job was able to give praises. Hallelujah. When you can give thanks to the Lord in everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only two things. If you put the trust in the Lord, you know your life is in the sand. So you will give thanks in everything. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't care. You know one thing. My hope is in my car. So I will give thanks. The second reason, I am not having much of the time to explain how to put the trust in the Lord. Right? Okay. But the second thing, you should know there is a prayer answering God in your life. There is a God who hears your prayer and he, is, uh, he will answer your prayer. Amen? If you know this truth, automatically you will give praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. For that one, I want to show you scriptures. Psalm 65. Psalm 65, verse 2. Hmm. Oh, you who hear prayer, to hmm. you all flesh will come. Hmm. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, you no. provide atonement. Amen. Verse, verse 19 and 20. David knew that he is the prayer answering God. So I will come to you, Lord. Uh, verse 19 and 20. Uh, 65. No 19. No 19. Or maybe 64? 66? Maybe 66. But certainly God has heard me. Yeah. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Yeah, man. See, David said, Certainly the Lord heard my prayer. Mm. We can he, read the verse again. Yes, but certainly God has heard me. Mm. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Yeah, man. Mm. Next one. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. He knew one thing. The Lord is hearing my prayer. That's why he said, I will give praises to the Lord all the time. Do you have a faith that your prayers are reaching the presence of God? Pastor, yes, Pastor. I had the faith long time before. But nowadays, no faith, Pastor. I don't know whether my prayers are going there or in between something happened. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it's a prayer answering God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God is hearing your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know one lady prayed to the Lord? Amen. Her name is Hannah. How she prayed? She wept bitterly. And she poured out her heart at the feet of God because she did not have a child. Amen. Bible says, after she prayed, she did not have any sorrow after that. Her face changed. Her life changed. Why? She knew one thing. My God heard my prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Today the Lord wants to tell every one of you here that your prayers are reaching His presence. Hallelujah. Then you may ask one question, Pastor, then why things are not changing? The answer is because he is hearing your prayer. Amen. Yeah, 
Sometimes the Lord will not change the things like this. Isn't, he will not work. Sometimes he will work with two minutes noodles. But not all the time. Hallelujah. Why God is not answering your prayer immediately? It's for your good. Because God knows if the Lord gives you now, it's not good for you. You will not be able to handle the things. Hallelujah. During the time of waiting, the Lord will change our heart. Yes or no? Amen. Amen. That means He's hearing your prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you carrying the six o'clock face all the time? They used to call six o'clock face, right? Sad face. Right? Amen. Give thanks to the Lord. In everything, give thanks to the Lord. This is the will of God. Hallelujah. Bible says Hannah did not have a sorrowful face after that because he, she knew one thing. I poured out my heart. She heard my, he heard my prayer. Hereafter, his responsibility. Amen. Then the, the priest Eli told her, go with peace. Whatever you ask, let the God of Israel grant you. Amen. Whenever you pray, the blessings will follow you. Whenever the blessings follows you, things will change. Bible says the Lord remembered Hannah and she conceived Samuel. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why David also was able to give praises to the Lord. Amen. Job was able to praise the Lord because Job said, my redeemer, my redeemer lives. Job, Job knew, he knows the way I am going. Hallelujah. When you have this faith, then you will also praise. You will also give thanks to the Lord. You will not complain. Job did not complain. David did not complain. Hannah did not complain. Hallelujah. Heaven. Paul did not complain. Many, many people, they did not complain because they all knew one thing. He knows what I am going through. They all know my prayers are reaching His presence. Hallelujah. He will never do evil to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In my life also many times, you know, I will be discouraged. Because the prayers are not answered the way I expect. Hallelujah. Amen. But finally, the Holy Spirit will tell me. And the Lord will give me the grace to understand that my Jesus will never do evil to me. Amen. He knows better than me. He knows the best thing for me. Hallelujah. Amen. You all know, right? Uh, we do not have a children yet. Many times people used to ask, ask us, Pastor, how, how you are thinking it? Did you pray about it? Pray many times. Then how you are taking it? You know, I used to tell them, you know, Jesus knows better than me. He will know that do evil to me. Hallelujah. That is a simple matter for you to bless us with a child. It's easy for you. If still he is not blessing us with that child, there is a good thing in it. I do not know what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We love to have children. Right? It doesn't mean, you know, we are not like to have children. We love to have children. But still, I don't know why he is not answering our prayer. Amen? But I know one thing. There is something good in it. I know one thing. He is hearing my prayers. He is hearing my wife's prayer. He heard already. Hallelujah. Maybe he has a time for it. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. But I want to give thanks to the Lord in everything. Hallelujah. Are you ready to give thanks? In everything. That is another catch in everything. Amen. Whether you like it or not, give thanks. Hallelujah. If the answer is not coming, give thanks. If you are waiting, give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Okay, if the Lord gives you a flight, what you will do with it? Right? Pastor, no parking. <laughs> parking space, right? Yes, sir. Right? It's not good for you because you cannot handle it. Yes, sir. For example, I'm saying, Amen? Whether it's not good for you or not, definitely it's not good for us. When you fly over this church, we need to pray, Lord. Yes, sir. So remember, He knows better than you. He knows what is good for you. Amen. Yeah, if you believe that all things work together for good, then you will give praises to the Lord all the time. Because I have set my love upon God. Amen. Yeah, so all things work together for my good. So I will give praises.